so for today's video we are going to be doing a full face of liquid makeup featuring the new Glossier Solar Paint Luminous Bronzer Cream in the shade Flare, which I believe is the lightest shade that they have. Uh, so this is a new release and I thought it would just be fun to kind of do a full face of liquid makeup just to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, and then I also have the new Lancome the Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. And this is in the shade 90 Ivoire. So hopefully that's a good shade match for me. Uh, I thought about doing this as a no brush challenge as well, but I think challenging myself uh, by only using liquid products uh, is good enough. So uh, no powders, no creams. So I'm counting things like mascara as a liquid. So anything that comes with like a doe foot type applicator, I'm counting as a liquid, uh, but anything that would be in a pot, uh, I'm counting that as like a cream and obviously a powder is a powder. So uh, I'm sure someone else on the internet has already done this idea. I just thought it would be fun to try. I know there were some uh, all cream videos going around a little while ago with all the cream blushes coming onto the market. But uh, anyway, we are doing all liquids. So uh, I'm trying to use as many Glossier products as feasible. Uh, obviously Glossier doesn't make a liquid form of every product that they make. So I'm subbing in other brands uh, where needed. Uh, so I already have uh, sunscreen and everything applied and I'm going to go in with my typical priming step which is the Glossy Future Dew which is, I don't know how to describe it, it's a an oil serum hybrid and it has a bit of luminosity to it so uh, for me, I think it just helps to add that kind of extra layer of moisture. Of course, when I rub my face, it gets really pink. Okay, so next up, I would typically go in with my Charlotte Tilbury corrector underneath the eyes, but uh, that is definitely a cream product. Uh, so instead, I'm going to use the new, or relatively new, NARS Radiant Creamy Color Corrector in the shade light uh, and this has a little tiny uh, brush to it instead of a doe foot like their uh, concealer does and I think this might just be a tad dark Here, let's go ahead and zoom you in a bit uh, so with a corrector it's okay if it's a little bit darker than your uh, skin tone because you're really trying to cancel out that blue purple color underneath the eyes uh, but I don't know if you can see like behind the product I applied and then kind of blend it out I think they just need to make like one one shade lighter like a fair it does kind of dry pretty quickly so it's not going to be too emollient I don't think you're concerned about that especially with the product that you are layering uh, and to be honest one of my chief concerns about this uh, challenge that I've set for myself is not setting my under eyes and I am using a new concealer as well so I'm not quite sure uh, how it behaves. I just want to double check that I do have the lightest shade before I say otherwise. Yeah it comes in four shades light, medium, medium deep, and deep. And that retails for $30 on the NARS website. So there you have it. Okay, so I did actually get a, uh, another Glossier complexion product. Uh, and that is the Perfecting Skin Tint. Uh, I was curious about the Wowder, but I decided to hold off on purchasing that for the time being because obviously that's a powder. Uh, so I think this is the lightest shade. Again, this is G12, and it says to shake and then smooth over moisturized skin with fingertips. Blend upward and outward for sheer coverage and instant dewiness. And this is made in Italy, and you get one ounce or 30 mils. So I'm guessing this is going to be kind of on the sheer side. This is not a new product color might actually be good for me. Okay, so you can see it running down there. We'll see how 
how much coverage this gives. I think as I said, this is not a new product. But I'm a little concerned, <laughs> you know, having a, a corrector that does need to be covered up with something fairly substantial and then going in with a super super uh, sheer complexion product. Okay, so this is like not really any coverage, to be honest. And you can still see I have um, some blemishes. Feels a little tacky, but it doesn't feel like super oily. Okay, let's try and build that up. A little bit again I would say the color is good for me it's just you can see kind of how sheer it is like all my freckles are still pretty much coming through it feels nice on the skin so if you want something super lightweight that might be a good option for you uh, but even like on my hand, hopefully you can see, this is where I um, put the product on. It's very sheer coverage. <laughs> um, that's basically what it is. Uh, okay, so let's go in with this concealer. Uh, and I do have dry skin too. I don't know if I mentioned that. So this is the Tent Adult Ultra Wear All Over Concealer in the shade uh, Ivory or Ivoire Neutral. 90 I guess yeah okay so that is what the doe foot looks like it's a bit on the larger side I think uh so let's see how this does again I think this is the the lightest shade I think those are all the kind of active breakouts I have that I want to try and cover up okay so let's Blend this in. I think this might be a better face match for me than like an under the eyes kind of brightening shade. Just blending that with my fingers. It does kind of, I guess, blend out even with fingers very nicely. So often I use a beauty blender to kind of go in and blend, but I think that actually moved um, pretty well. Okay. Again, I'm not sure if the color is great, especially combined with that corrector, but I hope if you are like me and you um, are often the lightest shade in a product, uh, I hope this is helpful for you. Um, a really good shade match for me is the Makeup Forever Reboot in R208. Yeah, I don't know if I would actually call this concealer full coverage. 90 Ivoire Neutrals is supposed to be fair skin neutral undertone and it looks a little lighter on at least the Sephora website than it did on my face, but. Okay, so let's do some brows. So I'm just gonna use the Kosas uh, Air Brow. So this is something I typically do, just use a brow gel type product. The good thing about restricting myself to liquid products is that I don't have to kind of think through all the products I want to use and deciding when to powder because usually I try to avoid um, powdering before I finish um, all the cream products. Let's do the bronzer. Okay, so as I said, oh, I should have used the glossy boy brow. That's on me. That's my bad. Um, so really quickly, I know I've compared this in other videos. Uh, I, I think I like the Kosas better anyway because I think it just has a little bit more hold. The Glossier Boy Brow, I have the shade, uh, what is this, Blonde. Uh, and the Kosas is in the shade Taupe. 
So that is the Kosas and that is the Glossier, the warmer shade. And as far as the actual brush heads go, uh, Kosas has a bit of a like squared off triangle, whereas the Glossier is more of a cone. So you can see the one with the purple wand is the Kosas and the Glossier has the black. I'm not sure it's going to focus. So hopefully that comes through. I actually had all of these glossy products kind of pulled out of my, my collection to use. And I think if I don't write it down in order, I just completely forget about it. Uh, speaking about doing things out of order, uh, I think I'm actually going to use the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand next and then do the bronzer. I'm trying to figure out how to do what I normally do, but also kind of give you guys the best um, representation of the products. And I suppose I could try to blend that out with my hands, but I think I'm just going to quickly use this um, BK Beauty 101 brush, which I think is on sale this weekend. I just recently used this um, Charlotte Tilbury contour wand in my like full face of Charlotte Tilbury, showing you the, the set from the Nordstrom Anniversary Hall video and again like I think I still prefer the Fenty Matchstick because it's a little bit of a cooler tone and well I think this is easy to blend out I think if you don't blend it out properly it's kind of obvious at least on my skin tone so uh, I do like the Fenty better, but that is like a stick cream type product, so I excluded it from this video. Okay, so like I said, I have the Solar Paint in the shade Flare, and from what I understand, this is kind of more of a like shimmery, radiant type product. So it has a flat doe foot, and okay, so I'm just going to try and do one one half of my face. It feels very interesting on the skin. It's almost cooling. Okay, so I think I'm just going to keep it in that area. And let's see how this blends out with the Beauty Blender. So I think it takes a little bit of work because it is like a thicker type liquid cream, whatever you want to call it. I think that's pretty. I need to move my chair down a bit. <laughs> okay, so that is the half with the uh, bronzer applied. And that is the half without, just the contour. So I think that's nice. I mean, it is kind of a more radiant bronzer, but I think it's radiant in the way that Glossier does radiant, which is very kind of subtle and understated. Okay, so let me balance myself out here. I don't hate this as a, um, what do you call it? I don't hate the component. Uh, I wasn't sure when I saw that it had a doe foot kind of how it would behave. Uh, because as you know, with the Glossier uh, cloud paints, 
which I will use in a second. Uh, those are just like a little squeezy tube. Okay, I think that's nice and I think it works well for my skin tone. Okay, so which Glossier cloud paint do I want to use? Okay, so I have five of the cloud paints in total. I have the shades Eve, Puff, Beam, Haze, and Spark. I think I want to use the shade beam that's what's kind of calling out to me so these have that little kind of like a paint tube oh I've never even used this one look at that okay so a little seal on it and you can see the product just comes up like so okay I just swatched them side by side so you could kind of see the difference in consistency I think that the Glossier would eventually run down my hand, but I think it would take it a minute. I'm going to just take my ring finger and put a little dab and then just kind of put some on there. This one almost looks like an arrow. Oh, uh, my beauty blender go? I think these two shades, the bronzer and the blush, complement each other pretty well. I think I want just a tad more on that cheek, just to kind of balance it out. Okay, so for highlighter, I have two of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Light Wands. Uh, I think I would use the shade Pillow Talk that I just used in my other video, but I think that is currently out of stock. Uh, so I'm going to use the uh, Spotlight shade. And this one has that little kind of sponge built in that you dispense the product through. So I think that's a nice highlight that's there, but it's not too in your face and because it's liquid, it kind of really melts into the skin well. Okay, another another step I'm a little nervous about. Uh, so I also picked up from Glossier one of their Lid Stars because it was like in a bundle with the bronzer. And I got the shade Branch, which looking at it now looks a little scary. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is in like a little like test tube type. All right, so this is a doe foot And that's what it looks like it kind of shears out so normally I Use an eye primer uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I don't know how likely this product is to crease uh, but because I normally use a primer with powder shadows because otherwise those crease and if I do use some sort of creamy eye base uh, I will usually go over them with a powder so usually it's kind of a combination of cream and powder so I'm not sure how this is going to, to behave Okay, and I think I might need to use a, like a blending brush with this. 
Okay, so I have this Rare Beauty kind of angled brush. I think this is actually meant for uh, concealer, but I find that it also is a good, um, it's a good kind of synthetic brush for liquids and creams on the eyelid. Okay, so this has a bit of a little angle to it. Okay, so this, if you use a brush, it becomes very sheer. Like, I think that just picked up a lot of product. Again, I don't think this is a, a new product from them, but I don't really recall uh, what people thought about it. Uh, so if you want just like a really sheer wash with a bit of sparkle, that might be the way to go. In terms of not creasing, having a sheer layer is probably for the best. So we'll see how this does. It's a little bit more wearable than it looked like in the tube. When I open my eyes, astonished by all the foreign creatures I see, they flicker and fly, breathing from the sides above the about this applicator like when I'm pressing it onto my eyelid like it's, it feels kind of like it's shaky in the base which is not like I don't know best best feeling in terms of your uh, your products not falling apart when you're using them. <laughs> so it's been a minute since I used the Kosas 10 second eyeshadow, but I think if you are interested in a liquid shadow, I might start there. So I think I can make this work, but, but I think what you look for often in a kind of liquid shadow is an easy one and done. And I don't know if that kind of gives you what you want. Okay, so that is the swatch I applied on my hand and it looks like it does definitely set so that's good at least all right to add another challenge i'm going to be using a liquid eyeliner so i have this little stila stay all day sample so i am not a great liquid liner applicator Lemon, yellow, blue, green, silver, pink, tangerine, filter, two shades of deep blue. Everything is stranger under one lens. Sounds world around us. We'll see about doing a wing. <laughs> hard to do it holding a mirror so I think I'm gonna use this bigger one in front of me okay I'm gonna do it I'm gonna try a wing and by wing I mean the tiniest little flick outward okay I think I'm gonna leave it there uh, I am planning on going out in public later so I don't want to unnecessarily embarrass myself okay so going in with my old faithful Clinique bottom lash and there is a tiny bit of creasing underneath the eyes. Nothing too bad. 
I feel like I just replaced this not too long ago and it's giving me a little bit of clumpy lashes, but not too bad. Okay. All right, and then let's go in with another old favorite, the Lights Camera Splashes from Tarte. So I'm going to use the Ruffer Eyelash Curler. I do plan on doing a dedicated video to this soon. Okay, so that is it for the lashes. Okay, so I have two different shades of the Armani Lip Maestros. Uh, I have shade 523, which is Rose Sand, and then 502, which doesn't have a, a name, it just has a number. So I think I'm gonna go with this one, 523 Rose Sand, and I'm not using a lip liner because I don't consider that to be a liquid. So hopefully this will be decently easy to apply. I could always use a lip brush, but. It feels really nice going on the lips. I haven't ever tried this formula before, so I'm not sure like the longevity or anything like that. It still feels a little bit kind of moussey. I think I got a decent line. Okay, so I think that works with the look. Uh, my husband and I are uh, going to the movies later and we usually share a drink, although I usually end up drinking most of it. Uh, so hopefully for his sake, um, it doesn't transfer too much. Uh, it's getting a little bit on my teeth. So you know the old finger trick. Kind of cleans off the inside of the lips. All right, and then because um, we're not using powder, again, I do have dry skin and depending on the uh, foundation products that I'm using, I can get away without using powder, uh, but I am going to be using a uh, setting spray. This is the Urban Decatur All Nighter. Just for the sake of substituting out powder products um, with liquid products. So uh, I don't usually use setting spray, but because it's, you know, July and all that, I might as well. Might as well. All right, so. Uh, okay, so that is it for the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me try out some relatively new liquid products on the market and also just challenging myself to only use liquid products. Uh, I am coming up on my 10 year YouTube anniversary. I created my uh, channel on August 11th, 2011, I believe, somewhere around there. Uh, so I'm coming up on it and I would very much like to hit 2000 subscribers. Uh, before that happens or shortly thereafter. So uh, if you did find this video and you enjoyed it uh, and you watched it to the end and you're not already subscribed, I would very much appreciate it if you did so. I am planning a giveaway for my 10 year anniversary slash 2000 subscriber milestone. Uh, so if you need that little extra incentive, I, I kind of, I'm not sure which to do first, kind of a chicken and the egg problem, but uh, it'd be great if they coincided. Uh, so I hope you guys are all staying very safe and healthy out there, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.